Morning, Mark Savage here. Welcome to my garage. Big bike chat time. Yamaha's FJR 1300 oil change. You couldn't get a simpler bike to do an oil change. Some of the jexes you've got to take panels off and then wipe and cover the exhaust because they put the the sump plug right over the exhaust and stuff. But this one, you couldn't make it any simpler. Really is simple to do and I'll show you the tools you need. You may notice I bought this in my previous video. It's only a few, to 20 odd quid. You do a few oil changes and it's made its money. Um, they're all signed up, but in the day, it's just this one here. Look how easy this filter is. Where it is, how simple could you get? And this, you just pop on. Job done, ratchet undo. 17 mil down there. Is a sun plug. Come on, sun plug, filter, sun plug, filter, view screen. How easy, they really made that sensible, didn't they, for home DIY. Pop the ratchet on, you can WD them if you want to, and just crack open. And there we go, it's loose. Straight in the bucket, and that'll be done. Easy job. I use Putilin, always have done really, I quite like Putilin. Not mega money, good quality oil. When should you change your oil? Some figures 4,000, 8,000 blah. I mean, I change mine around about every 3,000 miles. I'm happy with that. This is shaft drive, remember. Get a filter and the oil, you know, 30 quid. That's really good value for money. £100 in the shop. <coughs> and now you know how easy it is to do. What else am I doing, though? I'm always doing something, ain't I? Well, if you previously watched my video on my Ducati, I'm happy with these black wheels. They're massive, they're just black. So I've got some nice decals, wheel decals, to put on them, a bit of wheel art. There is an art to doing it, if I'm really honest with you. You see some people put the red, the different colour ones on, and I do hate it where there's a little wiggle in it and so on. These ones are broken up, and unless you're really stupid, you shouldn't muck it up. So that's the Ducati I'm doing next. I'm going to continue the old change. I'm doing more stuff. BMW 1 Series. I'm going to say this is not where I normally am. It's not a motorbike. I do some reviews, but unfortunately the BMW 1 Series are lovely cars. The 116 engines, the N40 engines, not. So what goes on these engines? Oh yes, cam chain. This doesn't go, but all these go. That's snapped, and down here's tension has gone. I'm a little bit massively out of my comfort zone. I'm thinking I might take the top off, jack it up, take the sump, all the bits, bobs off the bottom bit, and then cry and let someone help me. Just go to show that you can't do everything sometimes, you have to get a guy in to help you, and that's what I may end up doing here. And I've got mechanical knowledge, as you know, from other videos. It's just, it's a big job. So, back to job at hand anyway. Simply, remove the plug. You can, on some kits, get an extra copper washer. I mean that is handy sometimes. And there we go. A bit watery. Need a rag. Wipe that off. See this little cockpit bit here? I have replacements and I will replace that. Let that drain out. Kit also comes with a socket. And the spanner. That's not bad for the kit really. You may never use half of these, but do you know what? Well worth the money. I have to add an extra tool. Tap it on, put it in, look at that, how easy is that, and that will come off in your hand now, you may have to whack that back off again though, <laughs> but it's not bad, look, oil's coming out, see how watery that is, that's done 3,000 miles, and it's putilin, notice it's drained out of there now as well, I always put the old oil back in the container I got it from, and you have to take it to the local refuge place. Always, always change the filter. Don't do half a job. This collects all the crap from the bottom of your engine, so always make sure you change the filter as well as the oil. It's not hard, and they're not a lot of money, as you see. 30 quid you can get a whole kit for. You can buy much nicer ones on there, better oils, but I'm happy putting anyway. Remember, when doing this one here, great having a wash that bar, oil will come out of this, okay? See it? You've got to expect that. Again, it's still not madely dirty. While it's on there though, give it a little wiggle. And 
and there it's off. It'd be a lot harder to get off if you uh, if you took it off as well. So and I wind that out. Now I haven't damaged it, married it up. If you'd have bought the wrong one, it'd be buggered. I could put that on in an emergency if I had to. Wipe it, nice and clean. All I've got to do now is change that, fill it back up again. One little important update. When you fill the bike up and you get to the line you wanted to on the view screen, which is here, when you get it between these two lines, little dots, top dot. You start your bike up, because it has to fill the filter back up again, and then watch where it settles. If you're happy with that, start the bike up, go for a ride. When you come back from your first long journey, check the oil. Sometimes it moves around, fills in little pockets, bits and bobs in the engine. Make sure that it's perfectly on that top line, not above it. Too much oil is actually worse than not enough oil. Too much pressure in the engine, you can damage things. Go on some carpet for once, not on the floor. Like, subscribe around the outside. There's loads on this FJR. Touring on the budget, changing exhaust, service. That's a real hell and handy one, that is. Where I showed you I'd serviced it. Um, and I've done the plug just under the tank, worth watching that one. I've got the Ducati now, I've got the V-King, I've got the VN 1600, which is tucked away there, waiting for the sun. And so many more great, great videos. Lots of ped videos as well, and I seem to get a lot of questions on them peds. Uh, my bike doesn't start, service, watch my videos, there's over 300 videos on here. Like, subscribe, keep watching, many thanks.